What's up, everybody? My name is Omar Aguilar, and today we want to welcome you to the very first episode of the People Podcast. So, oh, I'm sorry. I already screwed up. The Creative People. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. I told you he's going to botch hey, that intro. Stop it. Let's start again. My bad. After that. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's all right. All right. Let's keep it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Omar Aguilar, and we want to welcome you to the very first episode of the Creative People Podcast. So basically, this is a creative space that we have made for ourselves to just basically work with different people um, who are creatives and that want to come and share their story. Let us know what it is that inspired them to become who it is that they are today. And so, uh, man, I don't like doing anything alone. So I was like, man, let me call some of my buddies that just want to come and join me, hang out and share their story. So uh, without further ado, let them introduce themselves. Uh, Eli? Yo, 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 it's Alex. Adam? And it's Paul. What the? <laughs> hey, we swear we were going to hear the Nickelodeon, the, hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pauly, so tell us a little bit about your journey of, you know, becoming a producer, man, because, I mean, if we can all agree, Pauly G beats are pretty dope. I mean, I'm just putting it out there. It's all right. They're, yeah. they're all right. You know? <laughs> I mean, they're pretty dope, man. So just take us like, what was the beginning, dog? Like, what well, made you get into it? The beginning, beginning, like for me, co like cooking up beats or? Uh, pretty much. Okay. Well, uh, when I was 18, I, uh, I mean, a, a good friend of all of ours, uh, uh, Roberto Martinez, Bear, Roberto. He, uh, Roberto. 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 He, uh, we he, love you, Bear. He, I met him in high school. <laughs> Check it out. I met him in, in high school. And uh, he would come back to help out, like, the up-and-coming kids who were musicians and all that. So, you know, we were part of this big jazz, Latin jazz band. And mm -hmm. and uh, so he was one of the guys that would come back. And I would just, I would casually, like, talk to him and be like, hey, man, you, you good with the music? You know, you know where we're at? I would just kind of check with them like just mm -hmm. just serve you know yeah. what i mean like just i'm here to help you out you know we're just trying to make everybody sound good you know and um uh, so yeah one day like he just when i was 18 i graduated already and i was done mm -hmm. with that music program i was you know kind of starting to play at church and, and he just called me one you know one day in the summer he was like hey man you know you got your passport and uh i was like yeah what's up and he's like well, I mean, you know, I got some tour dates with this with this Spanish Christian artist. Like, would you be down to do it? And I was like, heck yeah, you know, who is it? So who was the artist? Uh, uh, and, and it uh, it was uh, Lily Goodman. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, yeah, snap. yeah. I don't know if you know who she is. I'm sure you know who she is. I know who well. she is. <laughs> I don't know, know who Lily she Goodman is, yeah, right? Yeah. Who doesn't know that? No, well, I mean, hey, I'll be honest. At the beast, time, honestly. at the time, I didn't know who she was. Like, I was oh, just wow. like, Lily Goodman. Okay, you know, she, oh, she you, Spanish Christian. You're 18. You're 18. I was 18. Yeah, and I swear, bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I, the last name Goodman, I was like, man, okay, she's probably like a some white lady. She's probably married to an, an American <laughs> or something the? like that, bro. And I looked it up, and I was like, holy moly, bro. Like, she's huge, you know? Yeah. Oh, she's, and, she's uh, a household name. Yeah, of course. No, yeah, she is, for sure. I'm not, and she's extremely talented, man. And she, oh, man, she's, she's, got she's a phenomenal days. singer, bro. Yeah. It's it's insane. But, uh, yeah, so in one of the people that was traveling in the band was, was Steve-O, Steve-O Valdez. Oh, yeah. And, and Steve-O, back in the gap, like, he... he uh, when he was like 18 or 19, he mm -hmm. got picked up uh, to, to play with Frankie J like mm -hmm. at a guitar center. It's freaking crazy. It's yeah. a crazy story. Uh, and uh, he, well, man, he's, he was a bass player in the band. I played guitar. You know, Bear was the MD keys. And he was just like, hey, you know, come to my studio. Steve will, had his own studio like somewhere off of the Beltway, like uh, north, kind of close to Humble. In the JFK mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. And uh, so, yeah. He just, I just came through one day and then I just kind of, you know, I just did a, you know, I had done a bunch of sessions with him just playing guitar, just being a fly in the room pretty much with these artists. And, and I saw, you know, how to control Ableton. And then it's like from there, I just started cooking up on my own, you know. But let me ask you this. So <clears throat> your first musical experience was in high school? That's when you first started doing music? Or? Oh, no. Nah. No, so, I, I've been playing guitar since I was nine. So why, what made you pick up a guitar or what? Like what well, actually led you to that? Well, my dad, my dad played a guitar. So my dad, he was he uh, he had his own like wedding band, the Hano band. Oh, nice! And so like I just remember in the mornings, bro. He just he would 
we have this like big old warehouse like on my mom's property right and like he just had records he had there was a built stage like a platform and he had a drum set and he had yeah. guitars he had like a yamaha keys true and musician, all that bro. yeah he was a true musician bro it's <laughs> crazy i used to go and i'm I, I man when he was jamming on guitar i would just play drums bro i'll just like and, and you know we're just kind of like you know it's crazy to look back at it but uh it, the and the other thing too is he didn't teach me guitar though we i was enrolled in a magnet school where they offered strings like violin cello and, yeah and so i remember it's funny because i remember when i was like in a rich kid Nah, not even that, bro. Well, uh, bro, all of these, <laughs> all of lessons, these schools, eh? well, uh, bro. Lessons, you would, you would think it sounds fancy, bro. All of these schools were in ac in Acres homes, like, what? and I'm not even dogging you're on from the, the acre schools, shakers? bro. But acre I'm sure. I think they just. I, I think they intentionally put those schools there for you know to help the 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 hood and the community out and all yeah, that. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I mean, it just my sister got in, and then I was already had it. You know, automatic admittant admin, admittance to it or whatever. But uh, yeah. So then man they offered guitar and i was like hey i want to sign up it was like 50 bucks a semester to rent the guitar yeah, that's not bad and uh yeah dude i just started having classical guitar lessons in in school and it was well, wait just... do you remember the teacher's name or like yeah bro i mean i remember all of my teacher's names bro For real? yeah well yeah so i had uh my i started in the fourth grade and it was in it was at a, a school called bethune academy and mm -hmm. and my guitar teacher my guitar teacher's name was mr barfield Mr. Shout yeah, out Mr. Dude. Barfield. Shout out. He was, shout out, Mr. shout Barfield. out to him, bro. I'm not <laughs> yes, gonna lie. I, Mr. Barf. I tried to look. I, I'm not Barfield. even lying to you, bro. I tried looking him up just to see if I could find him, but I just I couldn't. Have find you ever him like mind. caught up with any of these guys? Like, well, did you ever reach one out One of to them, them I did. Yeah, my fifth and sixth grade guitar teacher. So I had this. Um, his name is Jason Skirmerhorn, and he I think like I've heard that name too, bro. He was just a beast guitar player, bro. Mm. He had a he had bookshelves of like Guitar World magazines that we would just rent, and he would send oh. like the best. That, yeah, that, that's the teacher you told me about that that you met up when you were yeah kidding. Okay, yeah. Okay, so okay. the crazy part is he basically was like like really inspired a lot of the 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 good guitar players like the guys who were actually like had a passion for it yeah and uh the crazy part about it is bro i had a gig with uh with the royal dukes band here in houston which is like a, they're they're a fairly well-known wedding band and he was he was playing guitar and singing and i mm. haven't seen him in over i mean since i was like 10 or 11 and i got to s play with them like do this wedding gig and i How was like Bro, this is like a month ago. <laughs> oh my god, bro! After not seeing him <laughs> for ten years, bro. Dude. After not seeing him for like plus Dang, ten years, crazy. bro. It was like, man, it was just it was wild, man. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Gumo for the Roy Dukes band. Shout yeah. Oh yeah. Shout out yeah. to Gumo. Is that his band? No, it's not. It's not oh, his he's, band, he's but he but he he does a lot yeah, for it, bro. He runs. Oh yeah. He sets up oh, the yeah, sound. Yeah. I met him. He, he sets up the sound. He sings. He plays bass, and he does uh, the MC. He like, pretty much does it all, dude. Yeah. He's super talented, bro. Yeah. He's a beast. Cool, Shout out to my boy Gumo. For sure. Yeah. So. so yeah. So I just basically like? learned in school. I've always I, I I had classical guitar for five years, bro. Mm. I did it fourth grade till till I hit high school. Nice. And then I went to. Uh, I went to a school where they offered band and jazz band and all that. So then I got into jazz and, and then yeah. I stopped playing uh, classical guitar. Nice. So, so and then I was trying to be in the rock and like a rock band on the side. And all yeah, that's that, what I was about to ask band. you because at least like the little bit that we've gotten to know each other, I've, you've always kind of done a lot of like rock stuff and you said that you grew up playing that kind of music. Yeah. So how did you go from classical training Man, to It's to, crazy, uh, to bro. Like one of my, my, well, my other, my oldest, one of my older brothers, he he's six years older than me uh and he's a one like he's from honduras so like pretty much my mom had f uh four kids in honduras and then she came to america try to build a better future she met my dad right fell in love and then so my dad brought all four of her kids mm. uh over from honduras and so uh basically my older brother was the one i was my older brother my and my uh my older sister from my dad's side uh, I would always just gravitate towards them because, you know, I was closest in age to them. I'm the baby of the family out of six. So, yeah. you know, like the oldest, oldest brothers, I would rarely like what, growing up. I would rarely like associate myself with them because another thing, too, is like I'm not I believe it or not Spanish. Like I'm not extremely fluent in it. No. So my so my no. my, my no. brother, my <laughs> brother, I know. Right. <laughs> so my brother, he uh, he was the closest one of age to me, but he, and he was still six years older. So, like, I mean, I looked him up, like, looked at him like a like older brother. And so one day he was just like, 
hey man you know like my buddies you know and he's already in high school and i'm barely like in what intermediate school or something fifth or yeah. sixth grade something like that <clears throat> and uh he's like hey i've heard of these bands you know like called you know shadows fall and trivium and like metallica you know like yeah, just but, you know he rock. got into it and then yeah. I'm, i you know just spending time with him i got into it too and i was like man this is so cool because i was barely learning how to play guitar and they were right. in that style those styles of music it's all guitar pretty right. much like real heavy rock and it's like man it's just it's just just a feeling you know what i mean yeah. like it's just raw and i always kind of like that about absolutely about uh you know rock and all that i got that same feeling when i was playing guitar hero yeah what shout the? out guitar hero bro shout guitar, out to guitar hero, hero dude hey guitar hero is my only way of playing guitar bro yeah <laughs> seriously like <laughs> i couldn't play the guitar bro, like, what, what level were you though easy e intermediate expert bro all day every for day for real yeah no, yeah hey that. hey next time we go to dave and busters I'll yes show you. Dude. next time we go to dave and busters say, i'll show event, you bro or <laughs> any one of those arcade places yeah. bro i'm i'm there on guitar i'll, hero, I'll smash i'll, bro, I'll play all go. the top hits in there all day go all day are you really that good? But they never have Square, straps. I've noticed bro, they yeah. never have straps, bro, at places like that for the guitar. It's just like all lag. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you show up ready, you just have with me my fighting pack. Oh my god. Oh my god, Yeah, bro, dude, I was like no. I was like six, seven playing guitar hero with my brothers and stuff. That was the only way I could actually like get into music, to be honest. Oh, so that's how I was yeah. exposed into like a lot of rock music. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. So classical music, then you moved into rock, and, and I was doing jazz in school. And then when jazz I, in, in high school. school, like jazz, Latin jazz, funk, like, and then I was starting to play at church too. Right. So. So what that, was that like? Because you did you grow up in the church, or you really didn't, right? So then, nah. how how did that like being the fact that you got invited to go minister and 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 play at places like. Was that what led you to Christ? Would you say that? Yeah. Or, oh, or for like, sure. What is no, that? No, like? man. And you know what? It's crazy because in high school, uh, my good buddy, uh, Caesar, I mean, y'all know him, Caesar Castaneda. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so, he, so he was in that same Caesar. high school program of, of being in that Latin jazz band. And so he's like, hey, man, and you know, you playing at a church? And I was like, no, I mean, so he's like, hey, can you come play with me over there? And, you know, over here, over there. And we would go, you know, just random places. And sometimes it'd be far too, like hour from, you know, hour from where we're at yeah and uh so yeah you know just like little by little i mean at first i was there to play music and then do my part and just listen to the music and then like slowly but surely you know like started you know actually sitting in for the messages and all that and it was like man you know this is you know i'm coming i feel like i was coming from like the outside and and even for a long time too i'll be honest like playing at church like i felt weird because i felt like i wasn't all in you know Mm. what i mean if i'm being honest and i and i kind of struggled with my with, with my own faith you know personally uh but you know just over time man just god has shown me like you know just things aren't coincidental man and absolutely and and with a lot of the stuff that i personally experienced bro like i feel like i genuinely have favor on my life and 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 you know like just day by day i work i work on my relationship with god too and you know just it's kind of just the whole music thing it's you know god has kind of followed me and 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 led me to the place of you know giving me those opportunities you know like to travel with lily and right it's just it's Man, crazy I sometimes I, I can't even believe it to, yeah, in, in I, my like, honest I, opinion I, honestly bro. that's just crazy I, I feel like that's that's the way life works though like sometimes you just end up being in a situation where you're like man how did i even end up here you know like, yeah actually i was i was uh really surprised i was talking to eli today I and mean, he was just sharing me with all the good stuff going on in his life and i'm like man like that's awesome man that's a big blessing for him and he was even telling me like he was like man 2020 has been kind of the rough year but man i'm feeling good right now and i'm i'm excited about the big projects he's going to be a part of yeah man and, and, and even then like i guess my next question would be for you is how do you go from being the guitar player to wanting to start producing was it like you just got tired of only doing guitars or yeah. did you feel like maybe hanging out with other producers made you feel mm. like like man like i, I want to try to learn that yeah. kind of stuff too or or have you always kind of had a thing for like orchestrating an entire song you know what i mean creating that or well i think i had because there would be a lot of moments when i was in high school even like before high school like with the buddies that i was good you know in the the classes where i was doing classical music like i would get with those guys like outside of school and we're like hey let's come up with you know songs and all that and uh and some of it it was you know it was either rock or and all that I, there's a couple of old videos on youtube of me doing the whole metal thing and i'm like playing songs <laughs> out of but original stuff but like when i when i started learning like the arrangement 
and you know like because you know you could create parts and all that there's a difference between creating like a beat or like a loop versus actually creating a song and right. i feel like when i learned how to create a song it, it it blew my mind a little bit because it's like okay this, there's a format to this you know what i mean right. same thing with music theory bro like for the longest i just you know it was just skill practicing you know scales and even if i wasn't aware of what scale i was doing i was just learning solos off of other guys but right. when i started learning the theory behind it it's just like just kind of opens up your world a little bit more you know what i mean and then and then you feel compelled to want to learn more because you're like Absolutely. wow this is like this is ch shaping my playing it's shaping the way i think about my parts and all that too so i think it's just an accumulation of all that seeing other guys do all the production right. thing too and then hearing the outcome of that it's like man that's like that's pretty cool you know what i mean like you went through all these steps to 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 get this product of a, of a song and you know what i mean it's like it's just cool you know what i mean like no it is man it's it's i think it's intense like the more you're learning about music the more you start understanding things and it just opens up doors i, I I feel like you're playing uh, Super Mario 64, like when you go into that castle and they're walking around to each door. Yeah. You're just unlocking something. <laughs> yeah, pretty right. much, right? Like you're just learning as you go. So I, I have like this thing I say, like you don't accidentally become a musician. Mm. You see what I mean? It's like you, 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 this is what like us people who, who are real, like who are musicians who do this day by day, who want to do this, like it's a want. It's yeah. not like, Okay, well, I need a job. Let me go pick up a secretary, kind of thing. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. But as a singer, as a musician, as a you know, as a you know, video, you know, you know, it's just this is what you want to do. Yeah. And so now that being said, it's a different kind of feeling when you're going into it. You know, you look at it as in like, okay, I want to do this, and like like you said, learning the theory. Like now you started knowing about music. You don't know a song. Yeah. You know the guitar now. Yeah. You see, there's a difference between, you know, just, okay, I know how to play this song, but let me teach you music. That way you know every song. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, why, what, why, what they're doing and why they're doing it. And, and exactly. What now there's a it. purpose behind it, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah, man. It's, it's just crazy. So, production wise, talk to, talk to me more about that. Like, what made you want to start producing music then? Well, bro, I just, I feel like, I had a situation where I felt like, okay, people actually like what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I'm getting good feedback on it, good comments. Mm -hmm. Even even my my own personal friends that I, that are artists are like saying like, hey man, like this is pretty cool. Like we should do something. Yeah. And so little by little, it's just like, okay, well, I'm just kind of just trying to do make more music with more people. You know what I mean? Right. And 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 trying to grow as a producer as well. Like and. Uh, the first person in particular who who really like believed in me, you know, so to yeah. speak, was was uh, Tony Bastida. Okay. So Tony Bastida, he's a guitar player here in town, and he plays with a band called Rapture. He plays all over, man. And he's what's, a, what's his artist name though? He has a different. Oh, his artist, artist name. name is Tony Bad. Tony Bad. Yeah, right. with Bad with two Ds. Tony is bad. Yeah, but he's bro, he's, dope. He, <laughs> he's, bad dude. he's a beast, bro. He's, he's dope, man. I see this, this content. And, vocally, and, and, guitar wise, vocally, or just vocally and guitar wise, bro. Nice. He shreds too, bro. No, but like he's a good people too. But yeah. but uh, so yeah, man, we made a song, and you know, we just we uh spent some quite some time on it too. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. Like going back to what I said, just putting all that time and effort into a product and then seeing the outcome of it and, and, and seeing the results, like, man, that's a, it's a great feeling. You know Absolutely. what I mean? To know that people are rocking to your music and, and, uh, so uh, yeah, it's just, that's what makes me want to keep going. It's like, what else can I, you know, and in a way I've, I've always heard that with guitar, like I've had people personally like come up, come up after me after like church services and gigs and they're, and they will come up to me and, and they'll say, Wow, you really, you know, you really touched me with with that solo, or or you know, I just want to say that, you know, just like, <laughs> which is overwhelming sometimes, like yeah, overwhelming com uh, comments because I'm just there playing guitar, but just the impact of playing my guitar, like I want to achieve that same impact, making music with people. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, cause yeah, if absolutely. I can do it with the guitar, I can do it with that. You know, yeah, with the music too. Well, I know on my end, I'm super excited. Uh, we have a, we have actually a, a, for the first time. I've, I'm actually working with Polly as far as releasing a new single. 
Um, it's actually going to be coming out this Friday. It's called En Tus Manos. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, uh, what the... Rocket emoji. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pretty much. And so, I, I, Eli actually uh, did the guitars on the song. I played keys. Shout out to um, Juju, who also helped us out yes, with sir. some some keys. Um, then, of course, Polly produced it. Who else was in this in this song? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to forget. I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, as far as as far as band, you kind of did yeah. most of the most of the work on there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Man, and I'm I, super I'm, excited for that. I'm super excited for that song yeah. to be released. We're really excited about it, and I just think um, it was crazy how it worked out, man. Like you know, honestly, it just I felt like it was very organic. Uh, we literally just you came over just to hang out and have some pizza you know yeah. what i mean so yeah <laughs> we we're literally just hanging out know, some dude. pizza we're chilling in the living room and then we we're like hey you want to come check out the the home studio and you got in here we're just jamming out we're playing around on the keys and guitar and all of a sudden we're like man this sounds amazing like an hour later we're like man what are we doing yeah this, or, this sounds like something we would want to release or what and yeah and i'm not gonna lie you know it's 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 weird because i think for me to be honest with you, this is the first time I'm ever going to release a song made in a home studio, you know? So it's mm. it's a lot different wow. when, when you started releasing songs in different studios and then you're like, man, I'm building a home studio at home to only just end up making one a song there. And then, you know, the way it happened, man, I felt like I felt like that was not a coincidence either. You know, I felt yeah. like it was just God in the mist, you know, just bringing us together to hang out and chill. Yeah. And all of a sudden we're like cooking something up where we both felt like, man, this... This is going to be a banger. Like, this yeah. sounds great. You know what I mean? So, did we just become best friends? What the, what the <laughs> Step brothers? Did we just become best friends? No, yeah. Just <laughs> even the, even, but even the song concept alone, like, the goal behind it to, to, to speak, you know, life into people's hearts, you know, and, yeah. and just minister to people, bro. It's like, yeah. I, I feel honored that, that you let me help you, you know, come up with a, a song like that you know what i mean because yeah, yeah. i mean i've done I have, I have a song with tony uh it's called no rewind by the way you should check it out but uh um no rewind. you know i haven't rewind. this is the this you're you're the first artist that i'm working with that that you know we're doing christian music you know right. and and the vibes are a lot different from that realm right but you know we <laughs> may potentially be creating our own niche you know what i mean right, in our absolutely. own lane for it so i'm just excited man we got it we got you know, we have more than one song too, so you right, know, right? We got well, a couple just, that are out just, there, so it's it just like, kicked off. It's almost yeah. like we, the first song came out, and and we have it. It's done pretty much, and we were just like, man, let's create another one, and then we created another yeah. one. We probably got about five songs right now, yeah. And we're like, man, this one right here is the one we need to release. Like yeah, this yeah, one yeah. feels great. I feel like it fits the season. And you know what's crazy uh, for me, at, at least, Paulie? Like, I think that it was amazing how we just were like, man, we we have different talents we have different tools and uh we just combined everything together to make this masterpiece to me honestly like you know eli came over and he was like man let's knock out some guitar tracks and even like people who have nothing to do with music just coming over here to listen to it like alex would come over he's like oh that sounds cool i'm already visualizing the image of the music video i mean he was even the one that came up with the idea like let's yeah. go out of town and let's shoot the music video like, yeah what, what was that about like where, how did that even come to mind Honestly, I don't even know. Just well, let me happened. ask you that too. No, that's it a good question, happened, actually. It's like, what, random. what, what? So, like, I'm assuming that when you hear music, you see colors. Pretty much, like, so. Or you like, see shots. Yeah, I see shots in my mind. So, like I said, growing up, uh, I couldn't draw, I couldn't paint, couldn't get my hands on any musical instruments. Guilty. So, uh-huh. yeah, <laughs> for the longest, I was kind of just looking for that medium, and that's what it was. It was just video. And I would see movie shots in my head when I would see videos. I mean, when I would see, when I would hear uh, music play. Yeah. So whenever I hear a beat or something like that, I kind of just get a vibe. You know, I see like some B-roll scenes in my head. And I don't know, it's just kind of weird. When I heard the song, I kind of pictured mountains. So I was like, why don't we just go to Colorado and shoot the music video? That's just mm. true. And honestly, man, it, it, we actually just got the final product done today. So we got the uh, shout out to uh, DJ Bao, DJ who uh, is a yes, friend of Isau's. He, man, he killed it on the colorization. He added some killed subtle it. animations. Yeah. He sent it back to Alex, and Alex just put back some of the effects he had already had on there, plus all the all the shots. And, man, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It looks fire. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I'm really excited to release it because I feel like it's going to complement the song very well. Yeah, yeah. You know? But as, as far as, like, I think what, for me, 
is like crazy about the song is as far as like the message that we have it I, it's I think when you if you read the, the lyrics alone it sounds more like a sad not a sad song but just more like the message is like you know don't have any worries in life and just just leave things in God's hands yeah but like the beat behind it I feel like is what brings life to those lyrics you know mm. like it, the, the chorus alone is saying like I'm not gonna worry I'm leaving everything in God's hands and I feel like you know that's the season that 2020 has brought to my life you know I feel like I've gone through a uh, a lot of a lot of more downs than ups this year let's just put it that way yeah and and if i can be honest with you man i i feel like i feel like i felt like it was god given to us like when we were writing the, we we're working on these songs and i began to write these songs i really felt god compelled me to release the song because even though on my end this is how i'm feeling right now that i feel like man i'm, I'm i got a lot of things to worry about there's a lot of problems going on in life and and maybe there's more downs than ups right now i feel like i'm not alone you yeah. know, I feel like everybody in this world goes through different battles. Everybody in this world has something that they struggle with or or that they're fighting against. And, and I think a lot of people don't talk about that. You know, a lot of people like to show up anywhere yeah. and pretend like, man, we got it all together. Yeah. Life is perfect. And I'm, I'm this cool guy and I got it going on. And, and in reality, there's a lot of insecurities behind that. Or there's a lot of like, man, you don't know what they're going through. You yeah. know? And so I feel like I'm hoping that this song can bring that to whoever listens to it, you know, mm. bring some, some, a sense of hope, a sense of like, man, I know that everything's not going great, but I'm not going to worry about it yeah. because I have no control of certain things, you know? Right, I, right. I, to know, have peace, to yeah. have peace in one's heart. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I think as men, especially, like, yeah. I feel like, you know, I, I'm a married man. So it's like, as a man, I like having control of my household. I like yeah. I like being the problem solver. You know, anytime there's something going wrong. Put all the problems on your back. Yeah, I'm like, I got this. On... I know what to do. I yeah. know how to take care of it. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. But then there's some you things in life where you're like, man, them. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, like, there's some things that are really out of your control. Yeah. You can't do anything about it. And so who else can we leave it to but in God's hands, you know? Mm. And so I feel like as people listen to the song, I hope they connect to it, that they feel like compelled to like, man, this is going to, this is it. This is going to work just fine. You know what I mean? So yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see how that turns yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. But man, I guess, I guess we want to wrap up, but I, I, I want to kind of just hear a little bit more about you as a producer. What, what exactly are you trying to reach to? Where are you trying to get to as far as it takes you? Or are you just like, man, I have a set goal right now. Or what's next for Bali G? Well, right now I have, I'm working with a few this. artists. So I have, I'm working you know, I'm, I have that song with you, and we have a few more songs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I have a song with uh, with Tony Bad featuring Susan Carroll before the year ends. Right. Uh, and then I'm I'm cooking up some more stuff with with some more artists. But yeah, man, I just you know I just want to make music. You know, like I really love the process of it, man. Like you know, I feel like I enjoy it more than just playing guitar, which is so odd. Yeah, but I think it's because I've just done playing. I've just played so much guitar for the last, you know, fifteen years. You know right. what I mean? That it's like it just doesn't make me like. It, it, there's, it's not as fun to me as as making a song. You it's know like, what I mean? It's a so, different realm for you. Yeah, so you yeah. Get to, you get to travel into music a little bit more at a different angle. I guess yeah. you can call it. Instead of playing on stage, you're sitting at your computer programming beats yeah, yeah exactly and it's something that you kind of like at first are so puzzled about but then you're like this is fire well not only that though but like excuse me uh one thing that i've thought of is like man like gigs are cool and they're fun but what do you have to show for it a picture you know what i mean mm. you got paid 100 200 300 400 bucks right. for for a one-time thing it's like that's cool but making music like it's timeless like we'll have these forever. recordings forever you know what i mean yeah so it's like i'm trying to leave a legacy you know what i mean mm -hmm. like when i think about my dad and, and all that he's done right. and i'm trying to think about what i'm what i'm doing and and how i'm I'm about to turn 25 right. in january where where do i see myself in the next five years go ahead and tell us your cash app so they know where to send wow. it to <laughs> <laughs> no that'll be coming up I promise I'll, I'll drop it right the there. Week. I'll drop it right dollar, there. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. I'll drop it right yeah. there. As soon as this date Patreon, passes by, make the, sure Patreon. to drop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but, uh, yeah, man, I just, just thinking about my story, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like my legacy, you know? 
So you know, one yeah. of the things Eli really surprised me with when I I released my first album in 2017, right? And uh, Eli came up to me. I remember like the day after the concert, we hung out, or, or I think it was the same night, right? Probably something like that. It was something like that. But when we were hanging out, Eli literally comes up to me. And he was like, "Man, you know what the coolest part about?" Everything that you're doing right now is, man. And I, and I was thinking he was going to be like the concert, maybe who the band was, I, you know, because he's a musician. Yeah. He was like, I love the fact that you're writing your own songs. Mm. And I was like, why? What? He goes, because, bro, nobody's going to take that from you. You wrote that. Yeah. It came from you. Everybody. Know. And you know what? I, I actually heard something this week that I really loved. And I really I'm going to try to apply it to myself. He says that, you know, there's a there was this guy who was talking about how nowadays, especially like in church, everybody's singing the same songs and, and then there's like this one small percentage that is actually sharing their original songs so you have a church like like hill song or elevation worship who's like releasing their own songs and you have 97 98 percent obviously these numbers are fake right that they're just copying and pasting yeah they're just okay let's we want to sound like elevation worship we want to sound like hill song and they're yeah they're because they're out, their their pool their following is right. just enormous that they're able to cater to the masses exactly but this guy so, this yeah. guy was saying this though this guy said that he would rather see the 96 97 that's just copying and pasting to create their own songs to make up their own music because you know one of the things that that the bible says is like we shall worship in in spirit and in truth right mm, yeah. and there's nothing more true than being authentic with your own story you know mm. so when you're producing your own music when you're writing your own song like man you're that's as authentic as it gets it's yeah. raw because it's your emotions it's what you're going yeah, through in that yeah, moment yeah. and of course the world's going to connect to it because everybody has their own story but this is your story and so man i think i think what you're doing is great i think you need to keep on pushing you need to keep on releasing more music you need to keep on producing and you need to keep on doing poly G, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's and that's what it's about. Keep on pushing, man. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's sure, the bro. IG promo right there, yes, ladies and underscore <laughs> poly G P A U L L Y G. Yeah, yeah so why don't me. you let everybody know where they can go follow you at and come check out your beats, listen to your music, maybe hit you up, DM you for pricings and stuff like that. Yeah. So you can follow me on my Instagram, uh, at underscore poly G P A U L L Y G. Uh, I do. I have a SoundCloud as well with a few of my beats and the work that I have done. Uh, it's SoundCloud.com uh, forward slash Supreme Poly G, uh, spelled the same way as my Instagram. And yeah, man, uh, I'm always open to connecting with whoever. If y'all feel like y'all want to hit me up and and just ask me a question about it, whether it's guitar or the production thing, even if it's like interested in my own services or, or whatever or, or consultation or Whatever it is, man, y'all feel free to hit me up and, and I'll just, I'll do my best part to help y'all out. You know what I mean? Like, I, I really want to think of what I'm doing and, I, and I'm trying to be extremely selfless about it. Uh, I want to build a community and I want to just, you know, free game and just let's build together. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. And let's create. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's what this whole show is about. And that's why, kind of honestly, that's why we wanted to, you know, choose you first to kind of be our special guest and share your story, man, because... You know, the little bit that we've gotten to know you is like, it's been a real big blessing, man, to hear your story because there's not a lot of people at your age, especially, mm. um, that have had the opportunities that you've had to have had those experiences. Uh, you've been able to work with a lot of great people. You've been, And then, I mean, just the fact that you saw the life of your dad, you know, obviously it was inspiring to you because yeah. if not, you wouldn't be into music as much as you are. Yeah. And, you know, and then you've had man. all these great mentors where, you know, you got the teacher who you just ran into last month. You know, you've, you've had, uh, you know, Robert, Steve-O, these guys that really just uh, poured all of their knowledge into you and have helped you grow, you know what I mean, and develop yeah. yourself. And then, of course, like your own personal experiences that are helping you, you know, lead you, lead you to this destination that you're trying to get to, you know? Yeah, and yeah. So, uh, man, I just want to say thank you so much for just coming out today, talking to us, uh, sharing your story, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. bro. I appreciate so you guys, for having me, man. Yeah, for sure. So thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed today's first episode. We'll see you guys on the next one. For Later. sure, for sure. well uh i guess poly g would be my my artist musician producer 
uh, name pretty much. Right. So I've, I've kind of thought about making my my uh, hold my on, brand. We, we, hold on, hold on. We gotta get any signal. Can you turn on? Oh, Can testing, you testing, testing. Oof. Oh, okay, man, I was gonna watch that right now, so I'm glad that. Yeah. Hey, but that that was a good intro. Everybody felt everybody yeah, felt yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Hey, we're testing, still testing, rolling. Testing, Screw testing, it. Testing, Let's testing, just keep it. Hey, Mike's chest. Is, oh, no, I mean I don't mind starting all over. It's just more. Testing, testing, testing. This is testing. all a learning experience for all of us. Testing. This is testing, this is this is what happens on podcasts. This you is know? gonna be a blooper. You know, this, this is just this one is of all these bloopers. bloopers. Yeah, all right, we're yeah. Good? it's all good. You want to start it again? Um, we can yeah, start from you. Just Go ahead, jump Alex. right and pick into it. All right.